shake my finger. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Everything in my body was like, yes. Is this not the cutest thing in the entire world? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I've got a lot of energy right now because I am uh, drinking some coffee. Quick tip for you guys. I guess a little, a little cooking hack. I'm obsessed with flavoring extracts. The first one being peppermint extract. So I just put like three drops into this giant cup of coffee and it makes your drink taste so good. And then also I really like the pure almond extract. So it just tastes like almond flavoring, kind of different than like actual almonds. It kind of smells like vanilla. Anyways, I like to put this in my oatmeal waffles and pancakes because it kind of gives it like a Belgian waffle taste. Last night I had Drew, Olivia, Maddie, and Charlie over to watch The Bachelor. This season is just, okay, for those of you who are also watching this season, why were the first dates so extreme? He took her to his parents' house, met his parents. The first date, he gave her like a diamond necklace and, and all of these Rachel Zoe dresses and stuff. I don't know, it just, it all feels a little too much, a little too forward. Let me know what you guys think. So we spent our nights watching that. And then tonight, I'm having my friend Jazz come over. I've never, I don't think I've ever vlogged with her. I will definitely remember to do that, but we're just gonna hang out, have a girls night. Oh, also, 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 the second launch for my phone case came out like two nights ago. I wasn't aware that it came out at nighttime. And I guess a bunch of you guys like signed up for the email notifications. So by the morning time, when I realized that they were out again, they were already low in stock. So the regular size and the plus are already sold out. But if you guys have an iPhone 10, you can still pick up one of these cases. Also, if you weren't able to grab one in time, we are restocking pretty soon. I think like next month. And when you guys send me like tweets and tag me on Instagram with you like posing with them, it just, it brightens my day and I love it. It's like a piece of me is with you. Oh, it's great. Also, I'm gonna be doing a healing crystal haul because I posted this on my Instagram story and a bunch of you guys were asking if I could talk about all the crystals in one of my vlogs, especially this bad boy right there. Oh. We've got all of these bags of clothes. I'm gonna drop them off at Goodwill because this has been taking up space in my trunk for too long. Oh my God. There were people like shouting. Also, got some stuff in the mail. I think that's my new vlog camera. Oh my God, the door is still open. Okay. I was actually really nervous to see my car this morning because last night um, I wanted to pick up some wine. Pulling into like a liquor store parking lot, I accidentally drove over like an empty glass bottle that was on the ground. Yeah, I'm really dumb, I know. I didn't do it on purpose, okay? Anyways, the glass bottle like popped underneath one of my tires and I was like, ah! So like maybe there's a shroud of glass in one of my tires, I don't know. But right now it's not saying that I have any low pressure and it doesn't look like I have a flat tire. So. I think we're good. <laughs> Let's talk about healing crystals. I'm very new to this. I've never looked into the different energies and powers that crystals have. I've never thought to buy them for that reason or purpose. Like I have like crystal bookends over there, but those were from Z Gallery and they're totally decor. And so part of it is, you know, just very like pleasing to the eye, but also reading about them is super cool and a bunch of people in my life are into it and they only have good things to say. I think a lot of it is mind over matter. Whatever you choose to believe, is true for you. This past weekend, I had a little Silver Lake day with Drew. We stopped by this crystal store called Spellbound Sky. I've heard about it many times, but I've personally never been there. Drew's been there before and he loves it. And he was like, Claude, this is such a good time of year to do this, check it out, see if there's any that appeal to you. And I was so down. There were so many different colors and every single like stone and crystal had like these little cards next to them to show like what they stand for. And you basically just like grab a little 
metal tray and you walk around and choose whatever stones you want. I definitely was open to the idea of getting a bigger stone if one of them spoke out to me and I really liked the meaning. We're gonna get into the biggest one last because I've got a little story with it and it's just uh, wow. Also, pardon any mispronunciation or lack of information and knowledge about this because I'm super new to like crystals and what they do and all that stuff and so I don't know much about them. I need to read more. First up, we've got this guy. He's a little bit larger than the smaller ones. This one's actually got two different crystals in here, so the lady gave me two cards. It's mostly a moonstone, which is like the white part of it. The little card says, gem of the high priestess, self-discovery, deep insight, harmony, and relationships. A lady who worked there who was helping me out said that this one has lots of like female energy, and it's all around like a good rock for balance, like in your life, with your relationship with yourself and others, and self-discovery, and like your intentions and stuff. She said this is like a really nice one to have next to your bed side table. Also, the little black speckles that are in here is, I'm probably gonna butcher this, black tourmaline, tourmaline, tourmaline? Psychic protection, powerful purification for negative energies and bad vibes. I found that a lot of like the black crystals have a lot of protective qualities against like bad energy. So I liked how this rock had like a combination of those two. That is the first one. Next up, we've got this blue one. It's so, so pretty. It's like super smooth and milky. This one is called Blue Lace Agate. Increased communication with clarity and confidence magnifies affirmations. So I don't know, I just liked it. And and I like to keep it down in the living room. This one might be my second favorite after like the big one. Look at how freaking pretty this is. Also, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Oh, there you go. When you shine in the light, the flat surface right here has like that holographic kind of sheen to it. Ugh, oh, but then the inside is like a little cave and it's sparkly. This one is called the Angel Aura Quartz. Inner peace, connection with guardian angels, spirit guides, enhanced manifestation. Yeah, I like how this one is kind of like, has to do with inner peace and, and being calm and kind of like staying grounded in that sort of way. So I thought this one was pretty. I also wanted a black stone for um, my like workspace. And so I got this little guy, like he's super, super tiny. I can barely show it. Da -da -da. There you go, he's like speckled. This one is the Snowflake Obsidian. It clears negative thoughts and replaces with optimism. Blocks electromagnetic pollution, and that has to deal with like cell phone pollution, computer, TV, that sort of stuff, and obviously I'm surrounded by it a ton. It just felt right. Next up, I picked up this little one. It's pretty simple, just like a little clear circle stone. It's a little cloudy. This one is honey calcite. It promotes focused energy and unstressed mental clarity. Stimulates efficient workflow. I feel like that kind of says it all. Really don't need to go into detail with that one. The last of the smaller ones looks like this. I feel like this is what everyone thinks of when they hear the word crystal. Super beautiful. This one is the quartz crystal. It is known as the master crystal amplification of intention, which basically means whatever other crystals it's sitting next to, it's gonna amplify whatever those are releasing, but also it has enhanced spiritual connection. Last but not least, can we just take a second to appreciate the beauty of this one. Also, this is a lot heavier than you guys would probably assume it to be. I was really surprised. This is like six pounds. It feels like six pounds for sure. Here's the thing. Since I'm new to this, I didn't really know going into it like how immediately I would feel anything or if it would do anything for me. There was no question when I laid my eyes on this. First of all, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever laid my eyes on. Like when any sort of light or when the sun touches it and it just glows like it's just so, so beautiful. Drew, he actually, he showed me like a little piece of pyrite, that's what this one is called, and he was like, oh Claude, like you're gonna love the meaning behind it, you're so gonna want one, like go to that table. Walking up to it, this was like the first thing that caught my eye, and immediately, my first thing I could think of doing was just like placing my hand on top of it, like literally just like, like that. <laughs> and I did that for a few seconds, and I just looked at Drew and I was like, She's the one. Call me crazy, I don't even know what went down, but like everything in my body was like, yes. 
<laughs> Pyrites, manifestation, action, confidence, creativity, vitality, can do attitude. So the way that the lady was describing this one is that it's like the badass rock. Also, if this means anything, she like looked at me and she was like, I'm really I'm happy you're getting this one. Like this is I, you're, this is good, <laughs> which I think is cool. And also, this came into the shop the night before and it was the only one that they had. And so I just think the timing of it all was so, so incredible. And yeah, I mean, it's like a good time of year too to just kind of pick up things that put you on a higher frequency and just kind of make you more positive and motivated and all. I mean, I am a sucker for all of that. As far as right now, I'm leaving it on this counter table because I tend to do a lot of work on here. It's like the first thing that I see the second I walk like down this hallway. I'm probably gonna get like a cuter stand for it because I just have the one that they give you in the shop. If any of you guys don't care for this stuff, I am so sorry that you had to listen and go through all of that because I feel like I went into detail. But yeah, I just, I wanted to go through them and I'm really, really happy about them, so. I just realized I haven't shown you guys this. It's been like this for a few days, but I changed up my office a little bit because it wasn't motivating me to sit at my desk. Like it was, it was too out of the way to like go around the desk. This is what it looks like now. It was too annoying to have to walk around the desk. So I actually just put it against the wall and I feel like it kind of works because the computer helps to like cover up some of this wall since this ledge is higher. I think it kind of works. Yeah, I've been working at my desk like twice as much as I used to, so very happy about that. I believe this is gonna be the new camera. <laughs> I also ordered like new washi tape. Boop. Ooh, I know what this is. My guess is that it is a book, and it is. Ooh. I got Call Me By Your Name because I really, really wanna read it. I'm so excited. Stefan read it and he said that it's amazing and reading this is like falling in love. <gasps> yes! These are from Realization. I'm so, so excited. What is this? This is a dress. This is, <laughs> I picked it out. Like I know what this is. Okay, we got a cute little dress. It's like a it's like a wrap dress, so it's not really making sense right now. This one is like a little mini dress with spaghetti straps. Is this not the cutest thing in the entire world? Are you kidding me? Wow, I am so, so excited to wear this. Last but not least, this color is so freaking pretty. This is just a little short sleeve dress that also wraps and it's shorter. Gonna start cooking dinner. Jazz is a few minutes away. She brought some things, I got some things. Also, I changed hoodies. This one and the one that I was wearing all day today are from Shadow Hill. I got a package from them last night, so I've just been wearing all their stuff because it's so comfortable. Anyways, let's peel some potatoes. Guys, I'm on a sweet potato kick right now. I don't know why. Don't do this to me, new camera. Don't, don't, thank you. Come on. There we go. I consider myself a pretty good potato peeler. I think the trick is slow and steady wins the race. All right, I'm on my third potato and I'm not hitting my life yet. I just discovered that it's <laughs> gross income. She said it gross. I said gross income. Guys, I've been saying I'm as equally mom? shocked as I am embarrassed. <laughs> You're so red. Because like, I literally am blushing because I can only imagine how many times I've said gross income to like an adult. <laughs> okay, so we're just sitting here, glass of wine. Gross we're we're income. wine. We're gross incoming. We're <laughs> whining and dining. What else are we talking about? What else have we, we talked about 20, a lot today. 2018 goals. Boys, family. Um, what do we eat? Cow salad. We got some tortellinis. Cow salad? Cow salad. It's Do I kale. say everything weird? I said cow salad. Did I say cow salad? Did I say cow? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Like how you say it, right? Kale? Cow salad. <laughs> what? What is wrong with that? Cow salad. Kale? Kale salad. <laughs> how am I saying it weird? You're gonna have to replay it. You'll see later. Cow salad. Cow salad. Cow <laughs> am I saying it weird? What are you saying? Kale? Kale? <laughs> am I still? That's what you're saying. I'm literally <laughs> Yes, you said it right that time. Kale. Cow salad. Cow oh salad. God. I actually can't breathe. Like Kale. It's like 117. It's 117. You and got here at 630? How many hours is that? 630? Almost That's seven like hours. 
I, and the thing is, like, we keep not leaving. I'm like, wait, I just gotta pee, or wait, let me help you clean up, or wait, let's oh talk gosh. about this real quick. I wasn't paying attention, because oh, I might so have been taking a selfie. Is that what you were doing? Because yeah, I think lie. I think I was like, what, was I doing dishes back what? here? I don't even know. I'm gonna show you I had truth. this little candle like burning on the table. I'm gonna show the truth first. Look at there me she goes. A selfie and there she then. goes. And meanwhile, what's happening in the meantime? Meanwhile, almost burnt my house down. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Why does that look so weird? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Shake my finger. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> you know what's like a great life, not a life hack, but maybe like a nice public prank is to like <laughs> shop, like shop in public and like like walk up to like a stranger and just like give them a little like, <laughs> like hey, a little caress. Good luck caress. Like a little caress, but they have no idea. <laughs> you know what's insane? It's they the said same that screen, they said the 10 is a bigger screen. They're lying. It fills up the whole screen. It's face uh, face recognition, recognition too. Recognition <laughs> face. Re All right, so we Cross. got today. Hold on, today we got three new words. We've got welcome. <laughs> Why this finger? Wait, wait. We got first word. <laughs> First word. Gross <laughs> income. Okay. And the first word is. <laughs> second word. What was the second word? Help me. Kale. Oh, oh. Cow. 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 Cow salad. Cow. And the third word. What was the third one? What was it? It was just now. The third one. <laughs> what was the third the one? The third was just recognition. <laughs> I did not say that. Rewind the quip. Like, <laughs> I just said quip. That is my toothbrush brand. <laughs> I think it's honestly because it's 1.30 and we're just like, <laughs> everything's fun. We're gonna watch this vlog and be like, what were we I on? know, it's gonna be so cutie because I've been alone all day today, so I'm like really glad you're bringing in, you're bringing in some spicy content. There was someone who commented on my last vlog. They were like, you're, you're just like talking alone in every video now and it's so boring. I know. It you know what? Insecure. You know what? That's probably boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, comment down below if you guys want to see more of Jazz because I want to see more of Jazz. And I'll see you guys for a new video. I want to see more of me. Right? You're talking about you need to get a full life mirror. I need it. <laughs> 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 Bye. <laughs>